So our group is group, uh, team number seven, and we are in the group the almost famous. And our project introduction it says that through analyzing and mismanagement situations caused by upper management decision maker, our project tends to use proper management process, strategies, and skills to systematically solve problems that bring back order to the organization. We name our show friend or foe. A medieval kingdom team cartoon that targeted key 12 students to introduce them to basic management theories. The stories include total seven episodes, present seven management functions, implement sequentially to review relationship between these functions. The members of our group number seven, the almost famous, are Ariel. She is um, responsible for communication, planning, editing, study plots, and spokesperson. We have Ever, he's doing communications, editing, technical supports. We have Alina, she's doing the communications, illustration, and monitoring. We have Meg, leadership, communication, and planning, ahead head of group collaborations. We have Alex, leader, study plot, communication, and we have Damien, spokes spokesperson, and critical thinking. Um, every one of us, we meet each week. We meet every single week um, via through online, or we do in person to come up with ideas on how we're gonna develop the finger pop finger pop project and how we should um, do come up with ideas and innovation on how we should do our project team much better. Much better. Alrighty, so we have King Magnus who has ruled over the land of Scandinavia for many, many years and he's ruled over a lot of land so he's very praised and looked up to by many, many people and he's grown to be very comfortable in his position. He's grown to be very complacent. He thinks no one will ever test him to try to overthrow him or anything like that. So one day he randomly gets a letter from a dove and he misreads it as um, a message saying that an assassin is coming soon but and so then he starts going into a frenzy he thinks that his position might be in jeopardy he rules his two um, kingsmen Lewis and David um, out and about to use their management concepts to you know get his mind together and hunt down this assassin uh, this assassin excuse me David is more respon is the more responsible rational um, firm one. He makes the decisions. He's the voice of reason to the king. He takes a leadership role in, you know, trying to achieve goals. Um, Lewis is more careless. He doesn't really think ahead. He's impulsive, just like the king, so he's not much of a help. But he does have, you know, some skills here or there, but he's more of like, he takes the back seat when it comes to jumping ahead and taking leadership roles. And then we have Julian, who's like the neutral one between David and Lewis. He, he's the communicator between the two of them. He can kind of bring in like as the glue between the two of them to, you know, bring all three concepts together. And the three of them go back to the king. They bring their management concepts and, you know, their ideas back to the king and let them let the king know like, hey, Musa, take a chill pill. There's not an assassin. Um, so that the king can, you know, calm down and not be so frightened or threatened by this rumor that's going around. And um, so the king takes all three of their you know ideas into consideration he thinks to himself like you know okay there may not be an assassin i might have just misread something he rereads the letter realizes that this isn't even you know any type of threat he talks to allison which was the um the person who sent the letter originally finds out that she's actually a friend not a foe and um he decides to you know, take into consideration what his kingsman David, Julian, and Lewis says for the future so that he doesn't act as impulsively and he can operate his uh, kingdom in a successful manner and not send the town people into a frenzy. And he then becomes an alliance with the Far East and brings peace back to the town. Episodes um, of, of, with our management concepts. One will be um, Goal setting and organization structure. Um, episode two will be SWOT analysis, um, centralization and decentralization. Number three will be formalization, strategy, and planning. Number four will be decision making model and negotiation. Number five, implementation. And number six, the evaluation. So those are our episodes, and this is friend or foe.
Okay, our story, Friend of Foe, produced by a team almost famous for principle of management. And I would like to give you a brief introduction of the characters of our story. First is the king, King Magnus. He's a great king who rules many land. The people refer to him as a great king, arrogant, and for time has gotten comfortable with the peace, not a care in the world because he thinks no one will ever wage a war against him. On to the rising force of the enemy at east, King retreats to isolation in his lavish palace. Fear put a spell on King's mind, drive, drives him to be suspicious to his people. He becomes reckless on his ruling. And he's the upper management uh, who make the wrong decision which cause a lot of chaos. Second is the right is the David, the right hand, and right hand to the king, older brother of left hand, courageous intelligence with intent to protect the king at any price, at, uh, at any cost, able to lead when asked to by the king. Most people fear him due to his intimidation, worry over king's reckless behavior. David jumps into action to bring the kingdom back to order. And he is one part of the compare and contrast com uh, scene. On the other side, Louise, the left hand, he's the left hand to the king, younger brother of the right hand, more of the class con type of guy, but still very powerful in combat and brave when he needs to be. In love, one of, in love with one of the maids and often scolded by the right hand and a lot of for getting distracted, distracted and pulling pranks around the castle. Try to gain power over the right, land, right hand during the unsettling time. He's the other part of the contrast of David's decision. And there's Julia, his king's jester. His jester to the king, introvert and very nervous all the time but know how to make everybody laugh, often has the contest with the left hand with a prank. Communication skill are great, since he also received the mail and trained the dogs to deliver the letters. To keep peace in the palace, Julian pay, plays the role of liaison and uh, communication between the King, David, and the Louise as a, a, a communicator role and the negotiation to keep the peace. And finally is our Princess Alison, and she is a mysterious woman who comes to the king's castle seeking aids to defeat her enemy at the, at the east, and beautiful and not afraid to speak her mind and hold her ground. She was rejected at the gate as king misidentified her as the assassin sent by the enemy and the order to kill her. And those are the characters will make all the management concepts into work for our storyline.